So in this video, we're going to solve 2 to the power of 2x, take away 10 times 2 to the x plus 16 equals 0. Now that left-hand side expression is what we were looking at in the previous video and where we were factorising. And what we need to be able to do is to look at an equation like that and know that actually it is a hidden quadratic, a quadratic in disguise for us to solve. So how do we do that? How do we kind of get used to that? Well, the first thing is to recognise what that 2 to the 2x actually is. 2 to the 2x can be written as... 2 to the 2 to the power of x, using our index laws. You could write it like that. Or you could write it as 2 to the x, all squared. Because of our index laws uh, that said that x to the a, b was x to the a to the power of b, because a times b is the same as b times a, that is identical to x to the b to the a. Okay, so these are the same. Um, now, because of that, we want to spot that 2 to the 2x is this. Okay, this is the one that we want to focus our attention on. Because the 2 to the x is already there. And what we've got here is 2 to the x squared. Now, um, some people at this stage use a substitution. Um, and it's all fine to use a substitution. And what I'll do is I'll show the substitution here so you can kind of see where things are coming from. And that may well be how you will be taught or how you have been taught. Um, but I personally like to jump straight to the answer and skip these bits of working out if we can. Um, let's see. So what we've got. What we do is we replace the 2 to the x with y. So we're going to let y be 2 to the x. So here you would have y squared, then take away 10 lots of y, plus 16 is 0. That can then be factorised. So that would be y take away 2 y take away 8 equals 0. And then we can put the y equals 2 to the x back in. So we would have 2 to the x take away 2, 2 to the x take away 8 equals 0. So some people like to consider that bit there, okay, and make that substitution. Personally, I like to be able to go straight from that line to that line. It's really up to you, depending on how confident you are, what, what support you feel you need, especially at the early stages of this. So we get that. OK, so we solve this equation in much the same way as we're used to then, because either that bracket is 0 or that bracket is 0. So 2 to the x take away 2 is 0, or 2 to the x take away 8 is 0. So add the 2 to both sides. Let's solve this one first. And so that would mean that x is equal to 1. 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. This one, add the 8 to both sides. And so 2 cubed is equal to 8, so x would be equal to 3. And so x equals 1, or x equals 3, solves the original equation. Now you can see that when you get down to this line, if we'd had 2 to the x equals 5, I would have to use logarithms in order to solve it. Okay, So that's where logarithms can come in. Um, so really what you want to do is, as we work through these problems, think, well, did I like that substitution? Will that help me spot uh, the quadratic and help me factorise it? Or do I feel comfortable enough to go from that line straight to that line.